So our last presenter tonight gets the award for coming the furthest. Al Kutkowski is from New York. He's yet another musician who's doing interesting other things. What is it about those musicians and their brains? Um, Al, Al has gone from uh, playing music to writing a book and further adventures with the idea behind that book. Al, where are you? Come up here. Yes. The title of the talk is How to Make Something Out of Nothing and Then Make That into an iPhone App. <laughs> So, who do you owe in your life that you can never pay back? A serious question, a tangible question. Uh, this is the question that launched um, my book, which became an iPhone application. Um, and from there we had something where there was nothing before it. And to know that you had nothing before it, there was something before that juxtaposed with it. In a four year time period, I had a lot of intense experiences. I got to study with Robert Fripp over a couple of uh, courses during a year's time. Uh, I met an amazing woman who's with me. Uh, I went to England with a band and uh, we lived and worked for six months. And I had a restaurant job after coming back from England, downtown in Manhattan uh, on 12th Street. And being surrounded with a lot of different characters, and actors specifically, actors like to tell you everything, whether you want to hear it or not. Um, but the kind of trust that they need gets conveyed to you to make anything happen. After having left that job, I was in a more kind of sterile environment, shall we say. And no one wanted to say anything to anyone. Um, following that, uh, we got Question of the Day started, which is my book. Um, and I was encouraged, it was just an activity, and my friends encouraged me to turn it into a book. Um, the reaction around me told me that I knew it was gonna go somewhere. Now, I started to talk to the industry about it, and they were maybe not so terribly interested, but then I acted on a hunch, and I got in touch with people from uh, Urban Outfitters to see if they might be interested, and a buyer from Urban Outfitters said to me, yeah, that sounds great. So I decided, I can't wait for an agent, you know, you're gonna wait between six and 18 months before they'll put a book out, if you're successful. Um, so I had a thousand books printed, and they said no. So I have a thousand books in my house, and what do you do? Well, you gotta do something with them, so you gotta get organized. Um, it wasn't a POD, so as I said, the books are all in the house. Uh, you gotta get distribution. Um, in that case, in my case, I went to uh, Baker and Taylor. They picked me up, distributed me around. Um, I was able to walk into a lot of Barnes and Noble stores. Well, I'm, I'm from New York, but I was able to walk into bookstores in Los Angeles, and they said, "Oh, sounds great. We'll, we'll take them. We'll take them." So it moved along. The next step I took was to put the book where it belongs and where it would get the most use. We did a speed dating event in Santa Monica. It went very well. People use it for their own devices. There's a lot of different questions in there. Some of them are humorous, some of them are intense, uh, and people sort of show up the size of them that they want to. Uh, a friend of mine was teaching in Brooklyn. She invited me to speak because she was using the book as writing prompts. And the kids asked me every question on earth that had nothing to do with anything, but it was a lot of fun. Um, at that point, I hit a roadblock and I wasn't sure what to do. And my friend Jason, who was a restaurant manager, said to me, he, Jason will say crazy things. He'll say, Al, let's take all of the vowels out of the menu. <laughs> so you're like, okay, make an iPhone app. And I, I, I wasn't really sure about it at first, but then I decided to do it. What you need to do if you want to make an iPhone app get a developer you trust, shop it around, um, put in the right keywords when you upload your binary. This is very, very, very important. And get somebody to order it. Get, get as many people to download it right away that you can. I have a couple of um, Apple Store events. We did one yesterday in Los Angeles and we're doing one tomorrow in San Francisco, actually. The staff loves to help you. Everyone that you meet is gonna be helpful to you. They love it, they're into it. Apple has lots and lots of rules. Don't try to figure out Apple's rules. You can't do a press release for any of these events because they like to control everything. Okay, that's fine. They have specific rules about copyright and you find out more rules as you go along. Now, I got a little note one day, objectionable content. I had a video uh, incorporated into my app where a girl talked about, she'd been offered money by a guy to make out with her girlfriend. So they talked about this. So I, okay, no more girls kissing girls, right? Apple's against that. Don't try to figure out Apple. Don't try to figure out anything. Just keep going with it. Just keep rolling with it. As I say, they really want you to succeed, and the more that you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. Um, 
That's our first Apple Store event in Manhattan. Uh, it went off really, really well. The staff is extremely helpful. And uh, right now, question of the day is writing number 25 out of 12,000 books in the App Store, which is very fortunate. And as an author who sold 800 books in one year, I had 800 downloaded in one day. It bears repeating. The right keywords, get the right keywords, you're gonna get a lot of traffic that way. When you upload, organize a whole bunch of people to download the same day. Um, that girl that I met is still with me. That's my book, which takes conversational clutter off the table, hopefully, uh, which I need to do. And as Jack Nicholson said to Shirley MacLaine in terms of endearment, I'd rather have needles jammed through my eyes. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.